Hi kids, do you like reviews? Dumb reviews? Dumb toy reviews? Well then you're in the right spot. Cause today we are going to do a review of a toy. A dog toy. And it begins now. From the television studios in Fort Awesome, it's Hack TV, hosted by Chicken Boy. On this episode, Dumb Toy Reviews. This is Hack TV. No, I haven't been drinking, officer. Welcome to Hack TV, and this is your host, your buddy, your pal and organ donor, Chicken Boy here. And today on Hack TV, we are going to do a dumb toy review. But first, as a reminder, Hack TV is once again being sponsored by the good folks at FugglyLove.com. Yes, FugglyLove.com, because dying alone is scary. Fugly Love. All right, and with that said, it is time to do the dumb toy review of this toy right here. This rubber chicken made from the good people at Paul's. Happy life. Yay. Yeah. All right, let's get this dumb toy review going. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this chicken right here. This rubber chicken dog toy made from the good people at Paul's. My God, that is one good looking cock right there. Damn, look at that. That's nice, that's, that's nice. Uh, let's, let's start this review by talking about the box art that comes with the toy. My goodness, that, that's a pretty boring looking box art if you ask me. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. They look like they decided to go with some orange color background for the most part, which is weird because that's kind of like a harvest thing. And I don't know what dog toys have to do with the harvest season because I've known many dogs in my day and they don't harvest shit. So that's, that's kind of weird. But it does have a, a cute little picture. I don't know if you see that in the corner here. There's like a goat little, cute little picture of a doggy. Uh, it kind of kind of actually looks like the dog from Fraser. It's like, has like this white halo around it. So maybe it is the dog from Fraser, like a ghost dog uh, from Fraser. Um, and, 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 and if a toy has the uh, picture of the uh, ghost dog from Fraser, then by golly, you know that this is probably a quality product. Uh, Cause ghost dog from Fraser, that, that little mutt, he ain't going to let you down. So I like that. That's a good sign right there. That's a good sign that this is probably a good toy right here. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, and, and it has an action feature. It says it makes noise. That's pretty cool. That's, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about the action feature later. But that's, that's good to know. That's good. That's some good shit right there. Um, on the back um, of the box, it has like a little, like a poem, I guess. I'm not sure what this is about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and read it. Um, this little poem thing that's on here. And it, it goes like this. Behind every pounce, purr, tail, wag, or fetch, is a happy pet. Our mission at Paul's Happy Life is to help maintain your pet's health and well-being by offering affordable quality food, treats, toys, and accessories for a happy life. Really not much of a poem now that I think about it. Uh, that's just some corporate gibberish, but hey, it's a nice sentiment. It's a good sentiment. And you know, I, I appreciate it nonetheless. Um, oh, and it also has on here uh, quality, quality guarantee, 100% satisfaction or your money back. So I guess if you throw this at your dog and he just kind of sniffs and walks away, um, guess you get your money back. So that's that's nice. That's good that the people at Paws did that. Um, another thing I like about this box uh, design, though, the way that it's attached. To the toy um, is, is uh, I like that. I like the way it's on here because you can still keep the toy attached to the box and still display it. If you happen to own a dog that likes to display its toys, 
that would be very handy for the doggy who's a dog toy collector. That's a good thing. That's nice, nice. That's nice. Um, but uh, with that said, um, let's let's unhook this toy from the box and take a closer look at the quality of this um, rubber chicken toy. Let's look at the design. Let's let's check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. Okay, so I'm removed the box off of the rubber chicken dog toy here. I'm gonna place it here so the other camera can get a good look at it. Um, that is a good looking rubber chicken dog toy after all. And let's go ahead and um, let's review the design of this uh, rubber chicken dog toy. First off, it's designed to look like a rubber chicken. So I, I like that. I as a human, I mean, chickens, that is my gimmick. So I appreciate that. I'm not sure if a dog would give a damn that it looks like a chicken, but hey, whatever. Um, uh, let's, I, I also can't help but notice that this uh, dog toy is almost uh, phallic shape in design. So I guess for the ladies out there, this doesn't necessarily have to be only a dog toy, if you will. I suppose it could be a toy for other things. Um, and by the way, guys, if you're into phallic shaped toys, um, I suppose you might enjoy this as well. So, hey, uh, just something to think about. Um, let's look at the, uh, the, the, uh, the paint job on this uh, rubber chicken here. That is a good quality paint job right there. I like the orange on the beak, the blue eyes, the red little floppy thing on top of the chicken's head. Uh, that's some good attention to detail, good choice of colors. Um, Dogs are probably colorblind, so that's kind of a waste of time. But hey, at least they try. Um, the feet paint job, a little sloppy. Going to kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of disappointed with that. But still, overall, good design. I like the face expression. Uh, he looks very happy. Um, almost stone. I mean, if I was a baby man, I would say this rubber chicken dog toy right here, high as a freaking kite. Um, so if you have a dog that loves their toys to be stone, uh, they're going to love this, especially Beagles. Beagles love a good stone toy, so uh, they're, they're going to particularly like this guy right here. Um, so yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's, let's, let's move on um, to our next category here. Next in the toy review, we are going to talk about the articulation of this here dog toy. Um, some of you might be disappointed to hear this, but this rubber chicken dog toy does indeed have zero, zero points of articulation. Uh, so you can't really pose it. You can't put in any like action positions. Um, you can bend it though. So, I mean, that's kind of like articulation, I guess. You can have it like bob his head, listen to heavy metal music or, you know, peck his own pecker, I guess. You could do that. I mean, that's, 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 you know, something. Um, it does have a action feature, though. Um, and, and we're going to talk about that here with the uh, playability factor, which we're going to talk about right now. Uh, this toy does have some nice playability for your dog, as it does have a action feature, which if you squeeze it, <laughs> listen to that. That's a nice... That's a nice squeak right there. Look at that chicken go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that, you little 50 little chicken. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's some good sound right there. That's a fun action feature. Probably going to annoy the hell out of you when your dog starts playing with this at 3 a.m. in the morning. But hey, for the time being, during the day, that's, that's, that's some good squeaking fun right there. I like it. I like it. All right, next in the dog toy review, we're going to uh, review the chewability factor for this dog toy. Um, how well can your dog chew on this toy? How, how good of a chew is that dog going to get? And since I don't have a dog with me, um, I'm going to just have to chew on it myself to see, um, to, to, to get a good idea of how good of a chew you can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this chicken in my mouth and. Uh, Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, that's, that's a good thing right there. Oh yeah, if this is a quality 
Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's that's a good that's a good chew. Uh, I, I I think your dog's going to love this. I mean, this this chicken here, this this is certainly one cock that I could chew on all day long. Um, kind of wish I didn't say that sentence just now. Nonetheless, that's a good chew on a good quality rubber chicken right there. So now it's comparison time where we compare what this dog toy chicken would look like compared to, well, since it's a chicken, let's compare it with a picture of a actual chicken. And, yep, does it even come close to looking like an actual cock? Nonetheless, I don't think your dog's gonna care. All right, let's go ahead and give this rubber chicken a dog toy by the good people at Paul's Happy Life the final score review. And I would have to say if I was giving it a score, um, this chicken here, I like it. Uh, got some good design, good chewability, nice squeak, <laughs> and it looks kind of like a penis. So um, that makes me giggle. So if I was going to give it a score on a scale of uh, one to five, um, I would probably give it uh, three out of five red rockets. So, um, I think your dog will enjoy this um, just enough uh, to have some fun with it. With that said, this is Chicken Boy here for Hack TV. This has been a dumb toy review. Um, until we meet next time, please, if you see me on the street, do not make eye contact. Thank you and good night. This is Hack TV.